In psychology, there are a number of ways of measuring things. The scales we choose depends on the information that the data is intending to represent. There are four scales of measurement. These are nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio scales. Understanding the difference between these and being able to identify which is which is important since it will guide you in selecting the statistics you want to use to analyse your data. So first we have the nominal scale. As the name implies, it's simply about placing data into categories without any order or structure. The category can be expressed in a numeric code or a non-numeric label. So for example, if a university wants to classify its students into groups based on their major, they can express the information by labelling the groups with their respective major names. They could also give the groups a numeric label, such as one for health, two for business, and so on. Likewise, if you were to conduct a survey asking a question and the answer is yes or no, then this too would be a nominal scale because there is no order and there is no distance between yes and no. Statistics used with nominal scales are in the non-parametric group and would include the mode cross-tabulation with chi-square. Next we have the ordinal scale. This one is used when you want to classify information based on a specific order or rank. Like nominal data, the information can be expressed either in a numeric or a non-numeric way. So for example, if a market researcher asks you to rank five colours in your order of preference from most favourite to least favourite, then he is asking you to create an ordinal scale of preference. The key here is that there is no objective distance between any two points. It is subjective. So an ordinal scale lets you interpret gross order but not the relative positional distances. Statistics used with ordinal data would be non-parametric and include median and mode, rank order correlation and non-parametric analysis of variance. Next we have the interval measurement scale. This scale is used for numeric data that is expressed in interval of some kind of fixed measurement. In psychology, Likert scales are often used to collect data. Here people would be asked to indicate their agreement with a statement on a five-point scale. Now this means that we can interpret differences in the distance along the scale. Statistics used for interval scales would be parametric statistic techniques including mean and standard deviation, correlation, regression, analysis of variance, factor analysis and a range of other advanced uh, multivariate and modelling techniques. Uh, Non-parametric uh, techniques could also be used but these are less powerful than the parametric ones. Finally, we have the ratio scale, which is used to express the ratio of some kind of value of the interval data. This type of measurement is the most precise and most powerful, but it is not often available in social research. The factor that clearly defines the ratio scale is that it has a true zero point. And the zero point is meaningful because it means the absence of whatever it is that you are measuring. And it also means that you cannot have a negative point on a ratio scale. So for example, measuring something with a ruler would give you a measure in a ratio scale. Zero literally means no length, it doesn't exist. It also has characteristics of the interval scale in that something that is two inches long is half the length of something that is four inches long. But because of its zero point, it is a ratio rather than an interval scale. A note that measures of temperature, um, centigrade and Fahrenheit, although they may look like ratio scales, are actually interval scales because they do not have a true zero point. So the statistics used with this type of data would be the same as those used for interval data.